Sure, so my husband and I moved to JP um, at the end of last summer um, when we were expecting our first baby. <laughs> um, and we, so about two months before we moved here, we came to the neighborhood to look at the apartment we were hoping to rent, which is over near um, Curtis Hall. And as we were leaving, we walked past the Gruner Loring House, which was in the midst of one of those Thursday summer farmer's markets. And as we walked by, there's food trucks. There was probably, I don't know, 40 or 50 families, it seemed like, with, I'm sure it wasn't, but it seemed like 100 little children running around. All their parents sat on blankets picnicking and eating food that they picked up at the farmer's market or from the food trucks. And we had this moment where it felt like we'd like stumbled into this like family fantasy land. Um, and as we were, you know, beginning to move into that, getting ready to move into that phase of life ourselves, it seemed like a really, really great, exciting place. We found once we came here that it's just a really great place, I think, to, to have a young baby. I, I've heard a lot of people talk about, sort of warn about how isolating it can be to be home with an infant. And I think very specifically because we live here, that hasn't felt like the case at all for me. Um, I think there's sort of two tent poles, two sort of pieces of infrastructure that really make that happen. One is the JP Moms email list and sort of the various Facebook pages that have, you know, grown out of that. Um, tons of my baby and I are going to coffee at this time or taking a palm walk at that time. Does anyone want to come along? Which is really helpful. And then the other is Being Mama and Me, which has a ton of new moms groups and classes um, for parents and babies. And between those two things, I think I've met a lot of people. And then layering on the, the real community that JP offers, the cafes and events and so on, it means I run into people all the time, um, which really fosters those relationships. I've joked that it feels a lot of, in a lot of ways like living on college campus in all the good ways. Um, and that's been really great for me being home with the baby um, to feel like part of something and not sitting in my house by myself with an infant. One of the things that is motivating me with this is the connections that we have here. I mean, I think I want to believe that can happen anywhere, but we're here right now. Yeah, sure. And so we can talk about those connections and that sense of community and that place. And, yeah, and so you've been able to make a lot of connections you're saying with the mom with the, the email yeah so th both through the email and then sort of the the live but the, the live things that come out of the, sorry the people you met through right, the email through list, the email right. list as well as um through the different classes and moms groups um but i probably over the course of that met i don't know like it's got to be 50 or 60 different sort of families yeah. and gone close to you know obviously a subset of that but you know Today I went to Mama and Me for the new Mom's drop-in group. There was probably 10 or 12 people there. Most of us went down to Ula for coffee afterwards. A few of us walked home together. And that happens, you know, three or four days a week, some variation on that, which is really great. If you could go back and tell your 10-year-old self something, what do you think that might be? That's a great question. I mean, my 10-year-old self lived in San Francisco and had, you know, was vaguely aware of Boston, let alone certainly hadn't heard of JP. But, um, but I think just looking for a community where you feel like you're part of something bigger is really a valuable decision you know, choice to make.